everybody welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing an unboxing from micro wilderness this is the second time i've ordered from this company normally i get my tarantulas and all my inverts from a local pet store but i decided a couple weeks ago i wanted to try out micro wilderness and they were an absolute delight they made everything so easy and even uh this order that i'm doing today i had an issue with uh, a shipping date that they were going to do they were so so incredibly kind and they were understanding and they held my order for me and they postponed it a week and now it's here today i'm so excited to unbox it with you guys i ordered a davis pentalorus and a syria cosmos Litsi. i've never owned dwarf species before so i'm excited about that and these are my first 80 bitty teeny tiny slings my smallest one that i've ever gotten was about two inches and that was my m balfouri he was a little demon but these are New World Tarantulas. They are New World Dwarf species. So they won't get very big as it is. And I imagine that they won't be super, super stressful to unbox. But you know, uh, let's just get into it. Let's get into unboxing these. And like I said, this is a um, Davis Pentalorus and a Syria Cosmos Litsi. I do not own any dwarf species of tarantula. So I'm pretty excited about having these in my collection. You know, this is only the, uh, again, the second unboxing I've ever done. So all of their orders at Micro Wilderness come with this, these two little things. I think, I think that this is a sticker. This is just a business card. Um, and they're really, really well made. I really enjoy these. They uh, came with my last order too. So I believe that all of their packages come with the uh, shredded newspaper, which is good. And it comes uh, insulated, which is really good too. Oh, that's neat. That's actually super helpful for me. They ship them in these little deli cups. Sphagnum moss, so you can actually see what you're looking for. This has got to be the tiniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. It's a little bit of... Uh, might be a little bit blurry. You can see him crawling around in there. And here is the other one. He is right here. He's a little guy too. I, so, I was originally only going to order one of these, but I kept looking back and forth and back and forth, and I just couldn't decide which one I wanted because I really love the pattern on the Litsi. I really love the carapace colors of the Pentalores. Um, we are going to be rehousing them. We are going to be rehousing them into uh, the Tarantula Cribs Sling Crib enclosures. Now, I haven't used these yet. I'm very, very excited to use these, but these are perfect little enclosures for slings, like the teeny tiniest of slings. They come in this really, really beautiful box. Their shipping packaging, their packaging has gotten so much better. It was already nice. They, use, they take very good care of shipping their enclosures. I cannot say enough good things about Tarantula Cribs. Absolutely adore the company. Would recommend them to anybody. If anybody wants to order a Tarantula Cribs enclosure, it's what nearly all of my inverts are in, and I will put a link to Tarantula Cribs in the description below. These are their sling cribs. They're uh, three by three by four, if I'm not mistaken, and they are crystal clear acrylic. The sling enclosures have this magnetic lid on the top. Super, super strong magnets. Absolutely crystal clear. It's beautiful enclosures, and I'm so excited to finally be able to use mine. That I ordered. I always go with rectus oil. Rectus oil is just my personal favorite. So what we're gonna do is pop the lid off. We are just going to scoop it into the enclosure. That seems like the best. That seems like the best thing for me to do. So you don't want to pack it down. That should be plenty of substrate for a sling. And I'm gonna just put some of this um, green sphagnum moss in there, just so they have some coverage and so I can maintain a little bit of humidity while they're growing. Just a little pinch, don't need too much. These enclosures, I'm, I'm gonna harp on them for the rest of my life. These enclosures are so beautiful. I'm so excited to be able to finally use this. So we are going to do the Davis Pentalores first, mostly because it hasn't moved at all since I unboxed it. I'm a little concerned about that. But, oh, there he goes. I pushed on a tiny bit. I pushed on it just a tiny bit and uh, he crawled up a little bit, so he's fine. Again, I've never dealt with slings this tiny, so you'll have to forgive me if um, I'm a little bit nervous. I just wanna be absolutely sure that I don't hurt it. Just trying to move some of this moss out of the way. Do one of these right here. There we go. 
know. He's already in there. He's right there. It's finding his place underneath the moss. Awesome. I'm so happy to finally have a sling of anything. I you know they don't get very, very big. I think that they get like a couple inches big at most, but I'm so excited to finally have one. I will drip some water in here after I'm done and I will go get it some uh, fruit flies to eat. I will lose track of who it's who, so I'm gonna keep this lid over here with the sling so I know that it's the Centaurus. That was tarantula number one. Now, I've got another uh, brand new tarantula crib enclosure. I believe these are like $17.99. I'm probably wrong about that. <laughs> tarantula cribs is literally the only thing that I want my tarantulas in. These enclosures are so beautiful and they 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 stay crystal clear like my M. Balfouri has webbed his up so much and I can still see him perfectly I'm just gonna keep harping on them <laughs> buy tarantula groups anyway there's a second enclosure I'm just gonna scoop some uh, do the old scoop job again I will be making another video soon on fixing my Grandma Stola Axion's enclosure. They have a pretty severe mold outbreak that I have not been able to fix. So we're just gonna redo the entire enclosure. Now I am slightly more nervous, I guess I would say, about the Leetzy because the Leetzy has been much more active since I took it out of the box. But we will just do our best. Woo, there we go. That was scary, but he's in there. I don't know where he went. Three days later. Three weeks later. Many months later. I actually can't find it. Two thousand years later. Oh, there it is. You see him crawling around right there. He scared me. I thought he ran off. There is my Siri Cosmos Litsi. These are my new little babies. Super, super happy to add them to my collection. Absolutely thrilled to finally have some slings to try to grow out. I've always wanted to try my hand at slings. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was just really excited about unboxing these today, so I wanted to share them with you guys. If you would like beautiful, crystal clear sling enclosures, enclosures of any size, anything from slings to large tarantulas, I will leave a link for tarantula cribs down in the description below. And if you would also like to order from Micro Roll, micro wilderness which i would also recommend they've been nothing but a great help for me especially in ordering my first tarantulas online got multiple tarantulas but i always order them locally i was pretty scared to order them online i didn't know what to expect so they made the process really really easy and they made it you know they made it an enjoyable experience they offer a wide variety of things and they are currently at micro wilderness having a spring cleaning sale so i will link micro wilderness down below i think you can get 20 percent off your order something like that i'm not 100 percent sure i will leave the link for that the code for that down below and i will see you guys in my next video i will most likely have another video up fixing my gramistola axions enclosure and i hope to see you guys there bye guys